We're talking all about injuries here on Law Call tonight. If you do have a question, those phone lines are open, 850-392-1544. You can always email us, like Carlos did, at lawcall.wmbb.com as well. Now, in Carlos's question, he doesn't talk about a time period when he's gotten to a wreck. He doesn't say if he's gotten to a wreck or if it, if it was a slip and fall, maybe at an establishment. How long does he have? I know statute of limitations is something that people kind of put in the back of the mind sometimes. They, they put off those injuries. They go, I'm fine, I'm fine. But you have a certain amount of time. You have to go see a doctor and do those things, right? Well, in a car accident case, you have four years in, in which to, to pursue a claim uh, for the injuries that you sustained. Now, if you have an uninsured motorist claim, actually that's a contractual claim. So that's, that extends that out another year to five years. But less. you and I both know that, you know, it's, sometimes it's not always that clear cut because a lot of times individuals come to us and even though the statute's clear cut, you know, they've been involved in an accident, but maybe they have a medical malpractice issue or maybe they have sustained an accident in a car accident case. And even though it might be four years or five years as a UM claim, if they have a med mal case going on, it could be substantially different than that. Yeah, every, every cause of action in the state of Florida, whether it's a, an automobile wreck case for negligence, a slip and fall for negligence, a contractual case for uninsured motorist coverage, even though it's an auto case, it's a contractual claim because it's based on your insurance policy, um, medical malpractice, product liability, Depending on the type of claim you're dealing with, you're going to have a different statute of limitations that governs each of those claims. If you have a medical negligence case, you're looking at a two-year statute in Florida. If you have an auto liability negligence case, you're looking at four years. If you have uninsured motorist coverage on your auto policy, you're looking at five years. Now, one of the things that, you know, with us being a, a tourist destination, we get a lot of drivers from out of state. Some of those drivers have insurance policies from other states. Because, you know, if you're involved in a, in, a, in a claim with somebody from out of state and maybe you're a passenger in their vehicle, um, you know, those states might have different statute of limitations uh, based on their own laws. You know, for example, uh, Tennessee has a one-year statute of limitations. I think Louisiana uh, has a one-year statute of limitations as well. Um, you know, so if we're dealing with people from out of state, you might have a different statute of limitations that you have to deal with. For that reason, because it's so many different laws and so many different statutes you have to deal with, that's one of the reasons why you want to get an attorney involved immediately because they can tell you, all right, this is what we have to do, this is the timeline we have to work with, and how do we go about making sure we protect your rights. One of the other things you have to deal with, especially specific to Florida, is that PIP benefit that I talked about at the very beginning of the show. If you're involved in a wreck in Florida, you need to seek medical treatment within 14 days or else you lose that PIP benefit. Now that's a $10,000 benefit on your policy. You pay the premium for that. And if you're involved in a wreck and you need to go get medical treatment and you think, oh, I'll be fine. Uh, it's just, I'm a little bruised. I'm a little stove up from, you know, from that wreck. If you act like that and you let it go for a couple of weeks, you're gonna be losing out on a first party PIP benefit of up to $10,000 that you've paid money for. So it's very important to get the treatment because you wanna make sure you put your health as, as the first thing. Uh, but beyond that, in order to protect your rights, you need to be diligent, you need to get taken care of, you need to seek medical help, and you need to seek legal help too. You brought up a really interesting point there. If you get into an accident in a different state, I know you guys practice or, or, have, or are able to practice in different states. Do you suggest getting someone from your home state or do you go out and get an attorney from where you had the accident? And what, what does it go down to when you're involving different states and different parties from different states. You know, there's a, there's a lot yeah. of dynamics that you're working with on that situation. For example, if you are involved in a wreck in Panama City and you're injured by somebody who is a resident of Florida, but let's say you live in Kentucky and you're gonna go back home and all your medical treatment is gonna be in Kentucky. Well, that may be all well and good, but at the end of the day, you're gonna end up having to file a lawsuit in Florida. So you're gonna to wanna to have a Florida lawyer that can understand the processes, the rules, the procedure that's involved in order to do that. Now, if you're involved uh, in a wreck in Florida, but let's say the person doesn't have insurance. You know, right now, Florida is one of two states in the entire country that does not require mandatory bodily injury insurance. Mm -hmm. All right, that means if the person that hit you caused an injury to you, as it currently stands, that person does not have to have bodily injury coverage in order to compensate you for your lost wages and for your medical expenses. That's the whole no-fault system that we've been dealing with. And the Florida legislature has taken this up recently and they passed a law, but it was vetoed. And so as for, for right now, we do not have mandatory bodily injury liability. So what that means is you need to protect yourself. You need to purchase uninsured motorist coverage because chances are if you get involved in a wreck 
in the state of Florida, there's, there's a very good chance a person that hits you does not have insurance. Now, I know I kind of strayed a little bit away from where you <laughs> filed the lawsuit, everything. Look, we, get, we can represent claims all over the place. We have uh, lawyers licensed in Florida, Alabama, Georgia. Um, we, we got lawyers licensed in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Um, if you have a legal claim, we can typically help you out, at least on the front end. And if we can't help you out all the way through the litigation process, we know lawyers that can help you. We, we're a part of a network of firms that can, uh, that can help you out in that situation. Perfect.